Welcome back to another Decorating 101. Today I'm going to explore one of the S Plus building pieces from Homestead and how I think it might just change the way we think about building. All that and our community spotlight, so stay tuned. Since our last community spotlight, we've had lots of submissions. So here is just a few of the amazing things that you guys are doing. Keep up the awesome work. There's no denying it, there is a lot I want to cover in this video, so let's get started right away with the basics. Fence supports were added to give us the ability to make smoother fences. Unlike fence foundations that step down incrementally with the terrain, fence supports keep their line nice and level. Another thing that they can do is keep a wall level coming off of a foundation. Fence foundations, of course, don't line up properly. But if you use a fence support, you get a nice straight wall. Fence supports snap to fence foundations, but they also snap to each other. So if you experiment with that with building, you can come up with some really interesting floor designs. Once you place a fence support, Pillars will snap to the center, either side, and then extend out one further on the sides. So having so many snapped, rotating pillars gives you lots of crazy snap points to play with when it comes time for walls. Plus, if you mix up materials, the texture of each material adds really interesting patterns and directions to your floor. Another thing you could use fence supports for is to smooth out your walls on some of your more irregular designs that might come about because of using triangle foundation pieces. Instead of snapping your walls to the foundations, why not try out a fence support to snap a wall exactly where you need it to go? That's right, fence supports, unlike fence foundations, can make their own snap points when placed on top of a foundation. They can go anywhere. This brings me to my next tip, custom size rooms. With fence supports, we're no longer confined to a grid pattern with our walls. Here I'm demonstrating by making two rooms out of a one by three block. I'm also stepping outside the box and making a pentagon shaped room.
Add in a few pillars, again, that snap directly to the fence supports, and you can frame your odd-shaped room nicely. Because you can snap fence supports anywhere on a foundation, you can do things like built-in bookshelves. Another interesting thing you can do, closets. Large storage shelves as catwalks will snap to the double doors or walls that you put inside the fence supports. Got an odd shaped or a large space you need to break up? Use fence supports to build room partitions. I used it here on Aaron Longstaff's Nordic Blacksmith build to make a workstation as well as frame in the shelves in the back. You can layer in fence supports pretty close to each other before they jump to a snap point, so you can make some pretty textured things. Now, roofs. Up until this point, it was very difficult to get high-pitched roofs. On turrets, it wasn't quite possible to go very high as you were limited to placing your next ramp or sloped roof the length of one ceiling back where you could place your wall. However, with fence supports, you can build up that next wall anywhere. I like to go halfway back on the ceiling tile. Now, it's not an exact science. You must either eyeball it or maybe the latter method might work to get your walls to line up. Either way, this might take some practice. It might be rough going until you get the hang of it, but look at the difference. And as for buildings, Aaron Longstaff, On Cue, and some other really amazing builders make beautifully high-pitched roofs. But in order to achieve this, there needs to be an overhang of the roof. The overhangs do look great, but if you'd like something flush to your walls, why not use fence supports? Instead of needing to use overhanging ceilings to get your middle snap point, or using a fence foundation which sticks out, fence supports let you place the middle wall just where you need it.
Now, one thing that may not always be the most convenient thing about using fence supports to create high-pitched roofs is that they will stick through the ceiling. But I find ways to turn those bits into chandeliers. And if you like chandeliers, you can also use fence supports to build one. Using the circular pattern they create when you snap them to each other, I created a chandelier out of glass, double door frames, tech pillars, doors, and lights. Now it's true that while all of this is supported by the first fence support, I have discovered that when I connected ceiling pieces that were attached to supported walls, I was magically able to remove the original fence supports. Now I only did this once, and it was with clipping enabled. I have not tested this on official settings or repeated the process since, so it is not foolproof. I'm merely trying to show you that there is so much to experiment with these fantastic building pieces. So much more than just level fences. In my last solo build, which the video will be releasing next, I set out to build a large base using fence supports in any way I could figure out how. Besides all the ways I've already mentioned, I also was able to use them to hide bulky items like fabricators, or to make really interesting designs to dress up windows or walls. Bottom line, if you've been ignoring this versatile building piece, stop. Fence supports can do amazing things. So now it's your turn to experiment and see what fence supports can do. If you want to share those creations with the world, send me those screenshots. I hope you're as excited about that content as I am. And if you want to see more videos like it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification icon. And if you want to connect with me, you can now join me on my Discord and build with me on the unofficial Xbox Windows enabled Architects Cluster. For more information, see the links in the description below. Also, if you want to be featured in my next Community Spotlight, be sure to send me your screenshots. Until then, thanks for watching!